President Biden delivered encouraging words today about the January jobs report. The U.S. adding 517,000 new jobs to the economy last month. The unemployment rate hitting its lowest point since 1969. Now, before heading off to Philadelphia, the president reacted strongly to that 53-year low unemployment rate while not taking any responsibility for inflation. Are you taking blame for inflation? No. Why not? Because it was already there when I got here, man. Remember what the economy was like when I got here? Jobs were hemorrhaging. Inflation was rising. We weren't manufacturing a damn thing here. We were in real economic difficulty. That's why I don't. Joining me now to talk about that is Meet the Press moderator Chuck Todd. All right, what are your initial thoughts upon hearing that? Well, look, I think that it, this is a, a case where it all depends on your point of view on on how COVID impacted inflation. There's no doubt COVID is the cause of our massive inflation. Now, there's a debate about whether the COVID relief bill, the first thing President Biden essentially and the Democrats in Congress provided, that the extra release relief that was handed out, those $2,000 checks, was only added to our inflationary pressures. So, you know, I think it is incorrect to say he's to blame for all inflation. But I think it's also incorrect to say he had no hand that that they had no hand in it either. Right. And that's what's, you know, this is why I love doing what I do. But I hate sometimes the partisan political debates because, you know, there's nuance to everything. There's context to everything. COVID is the reason why we've had inflation, the, the, whether it was the work stoppages, supply chain issues, all of those things. Some of the things we did to help people with COVID also created inflationary pressure. All those are true. I think the biggest problem we face now is this weird situation we're in where we have this hot jobs uh, market, but we still have this inflationary pressure. And the real issue is we don't have enough workers in this country. We still have more job openings than we do people looking for work. And it's because we've shut the border down. We've shut the door to legal immigration. As we debate what to do about border security, we've essentially shuttered our doors to legal immigration. And that has caused uh, that that is also contributing and arguably now is probably the greatest contributor to inflation these days is this um, is this tight jobs market. So, you know, the problem sometimes politics always looks for a clean answer and the actual answer is a lot more complicated than that. A clean answer is, is never easy. Chuck Todd, thanks so much. For more with Chuck Todd, make sure you tune you in it. to Meet the Press this Sunday at 10 a.m. right here on WCNC Charlotte.